All right, stand by with uh, defensive line coach Brady Hoke. Joe Stranger to the Mesa, back with the Aztecs, and they're certainly glad to have him. Brady, especially in a year like this year where, you know, uh, Coach Long has talked about it. It's one of the groups uh, on the team that there, there's some youth there. Yeah. And I think there are some growing pains that you're going to have to go through. The question is, do you go through those growing pains with game experience? Well, you do. You have to. You know, you got to learn from every time you're on the field, and good or bad. And we've got a good group of guys who have worked awful hard. Uh, it's going to be exciting for a lot of those. I think some of those guys, uh, first time uh, starting a college football game. So <laughs> so that, that will be fun for them and uh, be fun to watch them out there and see how they do. Whether it's Newt Rockney or it's uh, Nick Saban, it doesn't matter what era of football it is. Are there some basic tenets that go into successful defensive line play? Yeah, I, I think number one, they have to have a lot of pride and ownership of who they are. You know, and, and I say that because uh, uh, playing it down there in the front, 300 pounders surrounding you, mm -hmm. you've got to have a lot of pride in how you play the game and the toughness that you bring. And we want to have that in our room. And, you know, uh, the, there's been some good things that we've done to this point, uh, but it's going to be exciting to see him out in a true game environment playing Aztec football. What's what's the learning curve like for a lot of these guys? <laughs> They've never, they probably have no idea about Coach's long scheme up until the point where he starts recruiting them, and they're obviously going to do, obviously going to do the research. Like, do I fit into that? What's that learning curve like for guys? Well, I think, you know, for guys who have been here for at least the spring and throughout the summer, I think they, they adapt pretty well. Hopefully, uh, we're doing a great job as teachers, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so they understand what we want from them and the expectations. But, you know, it, it takes guys a little bit of time, always does, because one thing you want them to do is play fast. Yeah. And so uh, the faster we'll play, the more physical we'll play. Is it weird when you have to tell them, I don't want you to think, I just want you to do and go? Well, it is a little bit, but, you know. <laughs> Seems counterintuitive. It, it does, but, you know, <laughs> not thinking I do pretty well myself. So. <laughs> Finally, how's San Diego treating you? Love great. being back? Yeah, we love it. Laura and I both love it. Uh, uh, we got great people here at the university and in the athletic department, and then there's great people out in the community. And, you know, it's fun to be around this group of coaches and this group of kids. And you have great uh, show hosts on your radio flagship as well. That's right. Okay. I, I forgot to say that. No, no, no worries. You, uh, you said it just like I wrote it. Okay. Brady, thanks for the time. You got it, Mike. All thanks. Right.